In today's lesson, we're going to cover if statements. So let's jump into it. As always, there'll be a link in the video description to follow along, and I'd highly recommend coding with me. So over here in the JS window, um, I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to say a variable, and I'm going to call it number of legs, like this. And I'm going to say four legs. Now, what I want to be able to do is I want to, depending on the number of legs that we have, define what kind of animal it is, right? So if something has two legs, there are a lot of animals with two legs, but humans are one of them, right? So we'll say, cool, if it has two legs, we know it's a human. If it has four legs, maybe it's a dog. And if it has eight legs, it's a spider. So this can show you why if statements are useful and how they're used. So if we have a number of legs as four, how I write an if statement is I say, if open circular brackets, I put the variable that I'm looking for, number of legs. And then I say equals equals. When I'm saying assignment, I say equals. Let's close console for the time being. When I assign a value to a variable, I say equals, one equal sign. When I want to compare one value to another, I use two equals. So I say if number of legs equals equals two, then I know, cool, this is a person. So I can say console.log and I can say, I am a human. Let's find a cool emoji to add into it. And we'll take the scientist over here. Okay, now I'm going to clear the console and I'll run. Nothing should come up, right? Because it's going to get to here and it's going to be like, hey, it doesn't have two legs. It's not going to run this code. If I change this to two, now all of a sudden we should get I am a human coming up. Because it gets to this line and it checks Am I a human? And two legs? Yes. Okay, now let's check for other ones. We can say if um, number of legs equals equals four, then we can say console.log, and we can say I am a dog. Console.log, I am a dog. We're getting mad rhymes going here. Okay, and then finally we can say if number of legs equals equals eight. Now we're dealing with spider, so console dot log, I am a spider, and grab that, oh, spider, there we go, cool, okay, clear this, now, again, what we should see is this is going to be the only one that runs, if I change this, however, to four, now this one should run, right, all the code inside of this, these braces will run, I am a dog, if I change it to eight, we should get I am a spider, there we go, perfect, Okay, so this is one way you can write if statements. Another way is that you can use else if. So instead of just putting if all the time, I can say else if and else if. This will do the exact same thing as what we did previously, but the second it finds one to be true, it won't run it again, right? So if it finds the number of legs is equal to four over here, it's not gonna check this one. Whereas previously, how we set it up over here like this is that both of these will run. So if I change this number of legs equals equals four, and I say, um, let's do go with cat over here instead. So let's find a cat. Cat. There we go. Okay. Um, I am a cat. Now, with the number of legs equal to four, we should get both of these coming up. So I'll clear console. And now both I am a dog and I am a cat comes up. If... However, I do else if, notice only, notice which one only comes up. Only I am a dog comes up because it doesn't check for this one. Once it finds one of them to be true, it stops running through it. So this is useful for that. And then finally, you can have an else statement. So you can say if all of these fail, we can have else, right? And then say, I don't know what I am. <laughs> That's quite sad. Um, or it can be. Well, it's good in an existential crisis. It's find a sad face. Okay. Okay, so this is the basic structure now of, of an if statement, right? So let's put this to 12, and now we should get, I do not know what I am. Okay. What I want to go over quickly now as well is just and, right? So how do we differentiate? Let's go back to eight legs right? And let's say I am a spider. But we have different animals that have eight legs, right? An octopus also has eight legs. 
So how could we differentiate between a spider and an octopus, or an octopus, is that we need to know and statements. So what we can say is the following. We can say let underwater, right? And we can make that equal to true, right? So now what we're saying is that if this animal is underwater and it has eight legs, then we know it's an octopus. If it's not underwater and it has eight legs, it's a spider. So how do we do that? So number of legs is equal to eight, underwater is equal to true. What we can do inside of an if statement, if number of legs equals equals eight, we could do another if statement inside of here. So I can say if underwater, and I can say else, right? So this is just an if statement inside of an if statement. So if it's not underwater, we know it's a spider. If it is underwater, we know it's an octopus. So let's find our octopus, octopus. Is there an octopus? Yes, okay, perfect. Okay, now we have all of that good stuff. Um, and now we're getting octopus when underwater is true. And if I change underwater to false, then we will have I am a spider. Perfect. Okay, everything working as is. Another way to write this that might be more elegant is to use the and kind of syntax. So what we can say is instead of doing this, I could say else if number of legs equals equals eight, and, right, so we use and, these two and percent symbols to say and underwater. Then we know it's an octopus, so we can copy that, and we'll put this here. Let's get rid of the rest of this if statement, and let's format our JavaScript code. Um, and then we can add in another else if statement over here to say else if. Uh, let's just want to make sure, so always remember to keep if you have one opening brace, you need to have it closing. So else if number of legs equals equals eight and not underwater, right? So the way you say not is actually and and not, right? Um, you would use an exclamation mark to say not in programming. So and not underwater. You technically wouldn't even need to do this, right? In the sense that if it's, if just this would give you the same result. Because if it has eight legs and it's not underwater, it's going to come to here. And then it's just going to be cool. Does it still have eight legs? But just for the sake of making this more readable, we're going to say if it has eight legs and it's not underwater, now we know it's a spider. And let's bring back our spider emoji. Oh, no. Not that one. Come on. Please work. There we go. Cool. And now clear this. Save, we get spider, we change this to true, we should get octopus. And then finally, if we just change this to 12, we should still get to this else statement over here because it's going to arrive to this eight. It doesn't matter that we're adding in additional uh, statements. When it gets here, it doesn't have eight legs, so it's going to go into the next one. Does it have eight legs? No. Okay, there's no other thing that it could be. I don't know what I am. I have an identity crisis. Cool, that is if statements.